here's the thing, everybody's been opening up their burger joints like crazy. And some of them are good burgers, but they're really the only thing with like the good burgers, as long as they use halfway decent meat, is the toppings. You know, it's like, oh, I got this one that has avocado and cheese on it or a different bun or whatever. Nobody makes burgers the way my sister Carol used to make them for me when I was a kid, and I'm gonna do for you now, which is you put all those fabulous ingredients inside the meat. I like my burger medium rare, please. Okay. To the point. Whatever, something fancy. So, ground meat, this is just the 20% fat. Uh, would not want to do less than that. It's just not flavorful. Fat is flavor. Salt and pepper, chopped up onions, and then it's kind of up to you. I'm gonna use some turmeric and uh, some basil, and then I'm just gonna do one garlic. My sister used to always make these with garlic salt, which I really love, but I think my husband would divorce me if I used it, so I'm not gonna use that. You know, you can use garlic salt. It's just that, you know, Mark Bill thinks it's kind of a classe, sort of white trashy. I can only push my white trash agenda so much with him. <laughs> you know, I grew up in a household where salt was verboten, and uh, when you have things like turkey soup made with no salt, it's pretty brutal. So it was exciting to grow up and to be able to move to my own home and uh, be able to put salt in the food. Sorry, Mom. Now, another one of the secrets to good burgers is, what do you put in the pan beforehand? Vata! We are big fans of cast iron uh, pans. Cast iron pans to me are sort of the way like people like stick shifts. They say like, oh, I feel like I have more control over the car. That's how I feel with cooking with cast iron pans. I feel like I have more control over the heat. A bun is really key, the right bun, um, if you really want to start perfecting your burgers. Because you want to have that right ratio of, of bread to meat. Nothing more annoying than when you go to get a Good sandwich and there's like some really thick piece of bread. You're like, it's like I need more bread. You know, it's got to be the ratio. So it's basically like you know, kind of palm, palm my hand, maybe a little bigger because it's gonna shrink down because of the, because of the fat. Because I'm making this for my husband, I'm gonna put pepper jack on it because he's got some little spice. For my kiddos, I would do a provolone, mozzarella, or um, cheddar. We're big on cheddar. Okay. If we had smell o vision, we would know how good it is to have the onions right in there. Sorry, I have to put the fan on. Oh. Woo! Okay. And for my husband, I'm gonna put some mustard on this because that's his white trash weakness. He loves the mustard. You know what I love about sliders? What? They're so small, you know. Yeah. It's like you know how men are afraid of commitment. It's like this is just the right size. You're not. You've got your third marriage. Okay. Okay. Now, I should have toasted the bottom, but it's I want to know what you, you think. You have mustard in there? Of course. Okay, because you know how I am about mustard. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do the no carb thing right now. Because mm. my fat jeans were tight on me. So. Those are so good. How would you feel if I put garlic salt in? No, for sure. Yeah, I was testing you. Oh. I was testing you on that one. It would be nice if it's um, some of that Spanish smoke. Oh. I don't know about that. Yeah, that's it, it gives you a little bit of a... I just think the onions in it make such a difference. Because then it tastes a little bit like barbecue. Mm. More like a party, you know.